Armory Disc Golfers, welcome back to another video. Today I'm throwing the best throwing putter in the game. And no. I will say, ironically, I don't really like these for putting. And on second thought, not so bad. We've got nine holes or eight more holes today with the Mint Disc Bullet here at Research Park. And if you've been around the channel for a while, you've no doubt heard me talk about this disc, you've seen me throw this disc, maybe even on this hole, because I think that this is the best throwing putter in disc golf, and it's somehow still really underrated. This hole is 315, and is that not just a bullet? just absolutely so straight the entire flight. I realized I set that on a bit of hyzer the whole way, but as someone who likes throwing with a bit of hyzer, works out pretty well. The flight of the bullet is obviously great, but you don't call something the best in the game based on its flight alone because so many discs fly so similarly. Something that I love about the bullet is that it's low profile. It fits my hand really well, especially since I like power gripping just about every shot and it can handle just about every shot. We've got a backhand turnover like 240-ish. Shredding. And beyond just the feel of the profile itself, the plastic is really nice. This in particular is a nocturnal bullet, which is mint's glow plastic. I've obviously modified mine a little bit to be more accommodating of the bag aesthetic, but it is nocturnal plastic. This is typically what nocturnal plastic looks like, but this will look more like this other bullet that I'm throwing around whenever it's time to put this one in the bag. And this one is coming to the bag because nocturnal bullets in particular, I really like because when they start out, they have a decent tick of stability to them, which is nice for holes like this when you really need to trust them. I had no plans of leaving this short. I don't care if I'm 50 feet long. I'm not about to throw a bullet <laughs> into the stinking pond. And speaking of the stability, that was another 300 plus foot shot. And you can tell the difference between that and the shot on hole one over here, my second hole, with how it held that stability and still had enough to fade in at the end. So I think these are awesome if you want to cycle through and have two of the same or three of the same throwing putter for different slots. This is normally OB over here, but go ahead and ask me if I care. My channel, my rules, my layups, because I'm putting downhill towards the pond. <laughs> Let's freaking go, man. And since I'm talking about the plastic of the disc, Mint is made by MVP, so this is Eclipse plastic. I don't know if it's 2.0 or if it's just 1.0. I don't know all the super fine details about that. I do know that MVP makes really high quality stuff, Therefore, Mint makes really high quality stuff. It flies great uh, and it feels what you would expect from an MVP caliber product. This is hole six here at Research Park. It is a par four. And so we're going to do a little segment I like to call par fours with putters, where I throw a par four with the new S-Line PD2 from Discmania that drops this week. Oh yeah, she's beefy. And what the heck, while I'm at it, I guess I'll throw a putter too. Hold over the entire way. That's honestly a great spot to be in. I say that it's a great spot to be in. I guess it would actually be a great spot to be in if this grass wasn't 15 feet high. Uh, I want to throw a forehand with it. Nah, what the heck. I use the beat in one, I'm not scared. Oh, what a perfect tree, just like I drew it up. And this has been par fours with putters. I hope you've enjoyed your stay. I am five for five right now, and that makes me a little nervous. And this double mando also makes me nervous. It is 215 feet, I think, so it shouldn't be that big of an issue, but now that I'm saying all these things, we'll see how it goes. It shouldn't be that big of an issue, no! Oh, and so it ends. The baseball players in the chat are not surprised at all about that because I just talked about my no hitter. And uh, I'll put with the nocturnal one, try to save my par from the drop zone. Drop down in there. Dude, I said something stupid earlier about these not being good putters. 
I'm gonna start putting a nocturnal bullet for obvious reasons. Let's go. So am I more clutch for hitting the drop zone putt or am I more of a choker for bringing up the fact that I had a perfect round going and then immediately screwing that up? Uh, I know that I mentioned the Envy earlier in the video and I said that the bullet is the best throwing putter of all time. So I'd just like to take this moment and apologize to absolutely nobody. And I'll give you bonus content. Let's throw an Envy. Horrible. Just horrible. I mean, look at it. Look at how far away it is from the basket. Bullets all day, baby. I actually do have a little bit more comparison to the Envy that I want to do because the bullet is actually legitimately very close to an Envy. And by similar, I mean like very similar in profile and the numbers. I'll throw the specs up on the screen. And you would think that based on those numbers that the bullet would be a little deeper or something than the Envy, but it's actually listed as a two speed instead of a three speed with a shallower feel than the Envy, which is just kind of interesting. I think of these as like three speed putters because it just feels something about the shallow feel in the hand. They just feel zippy, almost mid rangey. This is a tricky shot. I think it's like 260. I need to pull it from left to right the entire way without dunking it into the water that surrounds the basket. Ah, uh, I got a little scared of it. That's just gonna be a, that's gonna be actually a really awkward go at it. But I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna be flick putt running it downhill to body of water. Cause why not? Oh, chickened out. So I've mentioned the Envy a couple of times, but I actually think the bullet flies more like a proxy. The proxy has always felt kind of thin rim to me, whereas the bullet feels dartier, like a mid-range almost. I know that some people will probably bring up the proxy or mention the proxy, and for good reason. That's also a great throwing putter, but when we're talking about the best of the best. Give me the bullet. Final hole, this one is just over 300 feet, little downhill. If you haven't already, let me know why you disagree with this. I will hopefully just continue doing things like that. Ace it. Woo, that actually might be too long. Okay, it technically was too long, but this is the kind of too long that we like to see. This was an absolute heater of a nine hole stretch for me. I think that I finished at like seven or something. Uh, this disc is awesome. I also still think that it's somehow underrated by the community. So if you haven't thrown a mint bullet, do yourself a favor, grab one, give it a toss because they are great, great throwing putters. If you aren't throwing a bullet for whatever reason, let me know what you are throwing in this slot instead. If you got to this point of the video, don't forget to leave a like down below, subscribe so you can catch more action, and I'll see you in the next one.